Hey guys, welcome back. Let's talk about control and let's talk about accepting things that are just out of our control. And the reason why this is important is because if you're going through a divorce, a breakup, a transition, let's just be honest, life isn't always fair and it doesn't always hand us the cards that we wanted to be dealt. And so we have to learn how to deal with these aspects of not feeling in control. The problem that a lot of people have, and it's not always the case, but a lot of times when you start a process, a transition, a breakup, a divorce, you're going through some change, you can't always see the blessing that comes of a really difficult situation. Sometimes what we think is really unfair ends up being a really great blessing, but we don't get to really come to that epiphany until we are on the other side and we can look back and that's why hindsight is twenty twenty. Even when a situation is what you think not fair and very frustrating to deal with, there's always some blessing that does come of it if you choose to look at it in that way. The truth is, is that control is an illusion and we think we have it, uh, but we really don't. I think it's important to look at what is happening and instead of spinning the story that life is unfair, try to see why this is happening. Maybe life is trying to teach us patience. Maybe life is trying to teach us how to not stay in that victim state. Maybe life is trying to teach us how to get out of our comfort zone. Now, not everyone in this world is going to learn the same lessons as you. And so don't compare yourself to someone else because then you will really feel as though life is unfair. The truth of the matter is you have no idea what that person's going through and they are going through something and they have a journey themselves and they have lessons that they're trying to learn themselves. Whether or not they want to acknowledge those lessons and learn them, that's them, but you can't compare yourself to other people. And, and when we look at our lives, it's very easy to compare them to not only other people, but what we expected life to be. Control is really a drug and we crave it. And when we don't have it, it can definitely make us feel angry and sad and it can definitely even lead into stress, anxiety, and panic. Learning how to accept things that are out of your control has to do with one really big concept. It's about letting go of the idea that you had in your mind of how it was supposed to go down and how it was supposed to look. Of course, we know expectations are at the root of all of this, and it's normal to have expectations. You're human. You are going to fantasize and project at times, but when things don't go the way you planned, how do you balance that? How do you offset that expectation that I had and now it didn't come to fruition? How do you deal with that? A lot of the times, too, we have expectations, especially on relationships, because quite frankly, we're trying to fill a void. We long for something Thing, something that we possibly never had before and we're still trying to like seek things outside of ourselves in order to make us feel comfort. Sometimes we just assumed that we were going to drive to work and not get a flat tire, but we did and now we have to learn how to deal with it. None of this is about not feeling disappointment and not feeling sad and not feeling angry and not feeling resentful at times, but it is about learning how to actually process your emotional feelings. And feelings are not black and white, so you're not going to process them once and then they're never going to come back again and you're done, you've moved on, you've accepted, you've let go, and you don't need control anymore. It doesn't really work that way. It's also not about not having expectations. I think you're human and to not have an expectation sounds like a beautiful theory, but if you're realistic, of course you're going to have them. Of course we might wanna to try to limit our expectations as best we can, but again, let's be realistic. We're going to expect the way we want it to go at times. We're going to expect that this happens. We're going to project at times. And when those things happen and they don't end up coming to fruition, what do we do? We've all been there and sat in that victim role for a minute and kind of said, why is this happening to me? I didn't deserve this. I'm a good person. This is the confliction that you're having with reality and you're taking what has happened in your life and what is happening to you right now very personally because you're not able to really see yet the lesson behind this. And of course, we're in pain. And when we're in pain, we don't want to, no one signs up for it. No one's excited to go through this process. And so when we are a little resistant to the work that we have to do in order to get to the other side, we say those types of phrases. 
And of course, those phrases are tied to anger and sadness, and those are normal human emotions that you're going to experience based on what you're going through. A lot of time we think things are happening to us as a sign of punishment. We don't see that these things are helping us to shape us, to help us heal, to help us get out of our comfort zone. When we kind of stay stuck in that place for too long, we start really losing the bigger picture of your life and where you're at. At that point, you're kind of just too caught up in your feelings and it's about learning how to not detach from your feelings in a healthy way, but it is about learning how to monitor them and not let them take over where then you really begin to feel sad, you stay stuck in anger, it turns to resentment or possibly start to feel like anxious and depressed. I mean, life hands us some pretty difficult cards sometimes and they're not always fair. And of course, we're gonna be a little resistant to having to do any kind of work at all because again, who signs up and voluntarily wants to do this kind of work? But you're here and now you have two choices. You can either learn and grow and change and do something different or you can stay stuck. I know that's not what a lot of people want to hear, but that is the reality. Okay, so let's get down to the nitty gritty. How do we actually accept something that we don't have control over? Number one, self-soothing. Your ability to soothe yourself regarding how you feel is absolutely critical towards you having good mental health, quite frankly, but it's also really important in terms of you learning how to accept and not feel so out of control when you don't have control over a situation. Number two, trust in life. I cannot stress this enough. Being able to not only trust yourself, but trust that life is going to bring you something good out of this, that life is moving you towards the direction that is for your higher good, and that you are in just that kind of like five minutes of turbulence while you're on the airplane, trust in this process. Trust in yourself that you are capable and smart enough and strong enough to handle whatever it is that you're going through right now, because you are. A lot of the times we go through these like really difficult situations and we're on the verge of feeling like it's about to break us. And then we kind of have this like moment of clarity of strength that kind of like comes over us and it helps us kind of just like pull us along even further. This was never supposed to break you. It's only supposed to make you better. So what are you learning from this situation that you can take into your future? And remember, trusting in life is that you will look back and in hindsight, you will be able to see why this happened. The next thing is I want you to start living more for yourself and less for the things that you didn't get. Setting goals and achieving things is a part of life. It is a skill. It is something that you learn how to do and achieving is absolutely amazing, but it's also a practice to be able to just live in peace and live in yourself and learn how to be okay regardless of what's going on. So how can I balance living here and being happy with where I am while still striving for what it is that I want? The next one, and this is really a practice because first of all, I really truly believe that we are taught how to stay stuck in this role, but, and the more we do it, it actually feels comfortable and it feels like home but do not be a victim to what you are going through. This is about you learning. This is about you overcoming. And this is about getting a takeaway from this crummy experience that you have to go through. I want you to see beyond what is happening and find meaning in it. I know we all want answers and we all want to know why things are happening, but we don't have those answers right now in this moment because we're in the middle of the storm. We're going through the mucky water. And when you're going through it, you can't see the lesson yet. But I want you to trust in the process and I want you to also remember that you have free will. You get to decide in every moment how you're going to not just like physically handle this, but like mentally and emotionally handle it as well. That's why it is so, so, so important to work on yourself. That is why I do all of my courses. That's why I do coaching. That's why I talk about self-parenting because like these are the things that you need to know in order to get through really difficult experiences that you're going to go through in life. When life's good, you're not really working on yourself. You're not really questioning why this is happening to you because you're enjoying the ride. It's only when we start to dip down and we get into that like dark hole that we really strive to find these answers and we seek out ways 
to help us to not only grow unknowingly, but make us just feel better. When we really practice this, the art of letting go and accepting and trying not to always have so much control, we start to really trust in life and we trust that good things are coming. We start to have more faith and we have fear. And those types of things really, whether you know it or not, really builds your sense of character. It, it allows you to live freer, more at peace because you're not putting so much pressure on yourself. You're trusting that things will happen in the way that they should. You also learn how to really cope with how you feel. I think that is probably one of the biggest things that most people don't know how to do. They don't know how to tackle how they emotionally feel. They don't know how to deal with their emotions. And that's why they go to therapy. That's why they're sitting on the couch. That's why they're doing coaching. That's why you're watching this video is because you're trying to learn how to take care of yourself better regarding what you're going through in life right now. When something doesn't happen the way you thought it would or you don't get something that you wanted and you're feeling out of control and you don't know what to do next, there's only really two options. You can either stay still and stay exactly where you are and live that way forever or you're going to do something different. And if you do something different, that means you are going to have to get out of your comfort zone and it means you are going to, whether you know it or not, going to build really high self-esteem. Because when you get out of your comfort zone and you do something different or you take you know, the lemon and make it turn into lemonade or you look at this failure as an opportunity to lead you in a different direction. When you have those different types of outlooks and you're not afraid to take a chance or maybe you are afraid to take a chance, but you still took that one little step. Those are the things that really start to build movement in your life. And that's where things start to get better and things start to change. And you're the one that's creating that change. So hope you guys have enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to click that subscribe button and also click on post notifications. And I will see you in next week's video.